Hello and welcome to the short review of Penguin. But before that, subscribe to the channel, your one-stop honest review zone. To make it quick, it's a bad movie. Amazon's exclusive skipped the theatrical release and hit the same platform today with high expectations. The build-up was there due to the release trailer. The trailer was spooky and the background score boosts the promises to go sky high. But promising and delivering is a different ball game. So did Kirti Suresh live up to the hype? Let's find it. The DC enthusiasts would know the Batman villain Penguin and it does have a striking similarity in terms of looks in this movie. It's a story of a mother who is ready to go any extent to save her children. This kind of setup is very considerate among the viewers because the motherly affection is subconsciously working behind your mind and automatically increases the likeable factor. Rhythm is pregnant and married to Gautam for the second time, but she still can't forget her firstborn Ajay whose horrific abduction and death rattled her. All she is having a blurry vision of a Charlie Chaplin marks man holding a bright umbrella taking her son away. The police convince her about the death of her firstborn. She still has the belief of finding him someday and one night she stands up on her belief and gets her son back. The abductor also starts to haunt her from that day onwards. Ajay is back at home but stops communicating. He seems to have difficulties understanding the civilized norms. To find what happened to Ajay, Rhythm starts her adventure to discover the truth. The layers are coming down one after another to put her in a critical situation. Her journey puzzles her in the same loop and her suspicion brings down the dreadful truth in front of everyone. But does that guarantee Ajay's life and everyone's well-being? To know the answer, you need to watch Penguin on Amazon Prime. You just need to sacrifice 2 hours for this. The background score is one of the assets for this movie. Even it's a monotonous one and used on several locations but still that goes appropriately with the scenarios. The music is not good enough and one can skip that. The acting part is depending on Kirti Suresh and she will pick up some rave reviews for her acting. Penguin revolving around her only and she used that opportunity well. No other human actors are noticeable in this forgettable thriller but a special mention to Maddie the dog. The director tried his hands in many things here but the result is disappointing. He can use color grading to create a haunting ambience which he did in the first half but those colors coming off in the second half make the frames dull. He took different references from various Hollywood movies like Friday the 13th and Mama. The killer coming out of the water to run his kill streaks is taken from Friday the 13th. The uncivilized lost son is trying to cope up is taken from the movie Mama. But even after taking references, he failed miserably due to a weak plot creation. Since the beginning, he's putting adverse emotions to create the shock value. For example, he used violence in Charlie Chaplin's mask. To some extent, he succeeded in that. But in the climax, he sends the boring outcome of the narrative and tried his level best to point the arrow in a different direction. To be honest, I could not believe my eyes and watched the climax two times for all the wrong reasons. Is that bad? I am not going after the plot holes because there are many. For example, the lost boy knew his abductor by face but still draw only Charlie Chaplin mask. He did not even show any emotions when he came face to face with the kidnapper. This could be a good movie because the director writer Ishwar Karthik arranged all the elements but couldn't mix them up accurately. 5 things I like about the movie are The background score The BGMs of the movie used appropriately in almost every situation and will never feel disconnected. The first half. It is suspenseful and creepy. Automatically you will want to know the mystery behind the kidnapping. Cinematography. The vibrant color grading used accurately to create the ambience. Kirti Suresh. Her acting in this bad movie is laudable. Maddie. Yeah, he has done a better job than many actors present in this movie. My rating is 2 stars and watch it only if you have ample amount of time. Else just skip this one. Do you agree or disagree with me? Use the comment section below to let me know your views. Subscribe this channel to get more updates which will save your time. Thank you for watching it.